the first thing you notice and you can hear in the meadows here are all the grasshoppers you can just hear them chirping away all around me here there's absolutely thousands of meadow grasshoppers in here and what you can hear around you all that sort of, that's the song of the males so in grasshoppers it's the males that sing to attract the females the male will sit up on a bit of grass sing away and if the female likes the sound of his song she'll come in and mate with him now one thing i've noticed in this meadow here is this meadow is cut for hay in July time and all the meadow grasshoppers here are really early maturing so they're all singing now whereas in other habitats in dunes and heathlands and up on the moor they tend to mature a little bit later and they also carry on longer so they're still active in September whereas here if you come here in late August September you can't find any and I think what's happened is they've actually been selected out so because the meadow used to be cut completely all the grasshoppers which matured later just didn't get to breed and all the early maturing ones have actually bred so they've actually selected out an early maturing population which is really interesting. Where you get slightly scrubby edges to the meadows uh, you'll not only get grasshoppers you'll get bush crickets as well and here's a couple here There's, these are dark bush crickets they're not full grown at the moment these are nymphs uh, but grasshoppers and crickets uh, they're not like butterflies and beetles that have a, a sort of a larva and then a pupa stage. Uh, they start off as an egg and then they hatch into a miniature version of the adult and then just slowly grow bigger. Uh, dark bush crickets overwinter as an egg and then the little tiny nymphs will hatch about the end of April and then they'll be full grown sometime in July time they're usually full grown. So these are getting pretty big now. Uh, they're predatory, they'll feed on other bugs although they will also eat vegetation and things like blackberries in the autumn. Um, now grasshoppers and bush crickets differ in the fact that bush crickets have very long antennae that's the best way to tell them apart uh, the uh, bush cricket has a long hair-like antennae which is usually longer than its body sometimes they get broken off but they're hair-like whereas all grasshoppers have short thick antennae which are obviously nowhere near as long as the body they are you know very usually very short now spiders are a bit like beetles, you see a lot of them but if you try and identify them they're actually quite tricky. There's not so many spiders in Britain, there's about 700, 700 or 800 different species and many of them are those tiny little money spiders. Um, but this is one and if you're walking through the meadows this time of year you'll see these funny, a few bits of grass or other vegetation wrapped around with silk to make a little sort of umbrella. And if you look closely you'll see a, a spider there, and there she is. Uh, she's pale brown, sort of fawn brown, with a white stripe down the back. And this is a nursery web spider. And she's called a nursery web spider because she, earlier in the year, a few weeks ago, you would see her walking around with her egg cocoon uh, in her jaws. And you see this spider walking around carrying this egg cocoon. Um, when she's ready to, for the spiderlings to hatch, she spins this nursery web. And then you just see under there, you see the, the uh, egg cocoon, and then she'll guard it. And she'll guard this against other invertebrate predators and until the little spiderlings hatch then she'll wait for them to disperse so she'll look after them for a short while then she'll die and then the new spiderlings will disperse into the grassland here and then they'll overwinter and you'll see them again next spring running through the grassland and then by this time next year they will have young of their own. Their grounds are a really good place to find a lot of insects because a lot of things are living in the grass they're quite difficult to see but when you get a patch of bare ground they've got to cross it they also like to sunbathe on it as well so it's a good place to look for things and one of the things you'll notice at this time of year are wolf spiders these are very common in grasslands there was one just here just now whizzing around um, and the female wolf spider here she is just here she carries her eggs on the back of her abdomen so you'll see these little dark spiders they don't make a web they're called wolf spiders because they're sort of nomadic really they just wander around through the vegetation catching in little insects to eat uh, and so the female she hasn't got a web she carries her eggs on her back of her body and then when the little spiderlings hatch they all crawl onto the back of the female's body so you'll see something which looks like a slightly hairy looking spider if you look closely it's actually knitted together all the little baby spiderlings all sat together on her back now on a hot day like this the spiders really warm up and they can jump around they can actually jump through the air and also they can s escape onto the surface of the water they can skate on the surface tension for a little way and so one here just whizzed out onto the surface of the water and it'll just hide there for a little while and then come back to the shore when you've walked away